watch this, the teenage boy says before jumping his skateboard up onto the stair railing. His friends watch in amazement as he deftly guides his board down the long rail. They hoot and holler in support until suddenly the boy seems to lose his balance. He falls from the rail and tumbles down the stairs of the large parking garage where they had been practicing their skateboarding tricks. The boy hits the ground at the end of the stairs, and all of his friends go quiet. The boy is stunned, but eventually he opens his eyes and stands up. But none of his friends can do anything except stare. Oh no, oh no, oh no, the boy says as he looks down at his arm, which is now bent at a 90-degree angle in a spot where no joint should exist. The children watching all begin to scream, and one, unsure of what else to do, turns and runs. What do I do? What do I do? The boy with the broken arm says to no one and everyone. Luckily, one of the group quickly collects herself and steps forward to take control of the situation. Come on, she says. We're getting you to the hospital. The girl puts her arm around him on his non-damaged side and helps him to the street, where they have a stroke of good luck. Parked just a block away is an ambulance. Hey, the girl cries out, waving towards the ambulance. The paramedics inside must have seen her, because the ambulance's lights immediately come on and it drives the short distance to them. The ambulance stops, and two paramedics quickly exit the vehicle. The paramedics don't even need to ask what happened. They can obviously see from the unnatural angle of the boy's arm that he needs immediate medical attention, and they quickly place him into the back of the ambulance. The girl begins to pull herself into the back as well, but is quite forcefully shoved back into the street. Patience only is the sole response from the paramedic who pushed her before he slams the door shut. The girl gets a brief look at her friend's frightened face through the back window as the ambulance speeds away. Several days later, the children are sitting outside of the same parking structure, but none of them are in any mood to skate. All they can think about is their missing friend. Neither the boy's parents or the police have any idea what happened to him or where he went. There's no records at any of the local hospitals of him ever being brought there, nor does there seem to be any evidence of this particular ambulance having existed at all. No one even seems to believe the children that he got into an ambulance. The whole story just seems too far-fetched and outlandish but the children know what they saw. As they discuss the events for the hundredth or perhaps thousandth time, one of the smallest of the group suddenly stands up and points. There it is! The rest of the group looks in the direction he's motioning and sees the same thing. It's the ambulance. None of them know what to do as the vehicle flies past them, this time with no lights on, and comes to a stop a block away from where they first spotted it. They watch as the two paramedics exit the vehicle and go around to the back. It's hard to see from this distance, but it looks as though they took something out of the rear of the ambulance, something that requires both of them to lift, before dropping it on the sidewalk behind some trash cans. The children watch as the paramedics get back into the ambulance and drive away, disappearing just as quickly as they appeared. After a moment of shock, they all in unison begin running to the place where the ambulance stopped. They come to a skidding halt just in front of the trash cans. None of them can do anything except stare until they all break out into screams, one of the children turning and immediately running away. And they have good reason to scream, because in front of them is their friend. His arm is no longer broken, appearing to have been somehow repaired in just a matter of days, but it is also no longer attached to his shoulder. The boy opens his eyes as his friends scream and looks down to see that his arms and legs have been reattached at a new angle, jutting out from his back, leaving him standing on all fours, his face staring up at the sky like some kind of twisted animal. What happened to this young man was tragic, but he wasn't the first victim of this strange malicious anomaly, and unfortunately, neither would he be the last.